um, and they know that the Rape, rape Crisis Centre will deal with them in a co confidential, co compassionate and sensitive way. This, this morning, some women or women may well visit the Rape Crisis Centre and the rape may well have been very recent and in any case, whether it's recent or it's historical, it's taken great courage for them to get there. And this morning, disgracefully, disgracefully, um, a van belonging to the pro-life movement pulled up outside the door of the Rape Crisis Centre in Leeson Street. The photograph is there, there is no traffic around it, it's there sitting outside. The abortion will, bill won't make women safer. That confidentiality that women looked for and looked for in going to there was breached this morning by that. You know, and I just find it completely unacceptable that that should have happened. It screams at them that women will be safer if this bill is not passed. It, it interferes in that, in that confidentiality that she, they thought that they were going to have in making that, the, uh, making that visit to the Rape Crisis Centre. And it shows the lengths that this organisation will go to. And they're now trying to dismiss it and say, oh, they got stuck in traffic. And there, the photograph shows there's not, there's not a car or a bike or a bus anywhere near it. It was deliberate, it's disgraceful. These women were violated with the rape. They often feel viol violated by the very fact that they can't get justice. And now they're being violated again today by this kind of thing. And it is absolutely outrageous.